Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be talking about a Sheikh from Indonesia who has gone viral lately. He's not just a regular Sheikh actually. He's also a founder of the largest Islamic boarding school in Southeast Asia. The largest, the name is Al Zaitun. 1200 hectares. Imagine. 1200 hectares in 2011 there were around 7,000 students and some of them even from Malaysia Singapore Timor-Leste and South Africa imagine that who is this sake let me show you the picture of it his full name is Abdul Salam Rashidi Panji Gumil what kind of viral videos or news did he make First of all, this. You see him in the middle, talking. And can you see what's behind him? If you guess it is Noah Hart, you're correct. I know they make one in, in USA. But this different, this better. Why? Because this is made in Indonesia. So it has to be better. And secondly, this. Before I play you the video, I want to give you the background of this video. So, so many Muslims in Indonesia saying the madrasa is not Islamic. So there were these people, thousands of them, they were going to that madrasa, as you can see in the picture, going to that madrasa to do some demonstration. But that madrasa is guarded by hundreds of priests and also thousands of supporters. That madrasa also has a lot of supporters. Now let me play the video. I want to show you what the supporters of the that madrasa is doing. Yes, they are singing Half in Shalom Alaikum. We brought you peace. The Jewish song, right? Now, before I go, go on, let me translate this for you. There's some warnings from the madrasa for the demonstrators. Welcome, demonstrators. We welcome you with 10,000 of us. If you, brought, if you bring peace, we will clap our hands for all of you. If the opposite, do not ask what will happen. So again. This is not the first time they're singing that song. The first time they're singing that song is almost two months ago. After after Ramadan, I believe it was during Eid. When the leader or the founder of this madrasa and several hundreds of people, maybe there are the staffs, the teachers, the professors, the ustads, and even one of them is a famous actor who visited at the time, who's also a Muslim, of course. Singing Havenu Shalom Alahim. We brought you peace. When the video went viral, so many Muslims were so mad, angry. You know, because you know how Muslims feel about peace, right? Peace boils their blood, you know, they they get angry. I think some of them died of heart attack. When they heard a Jewish song saying, we brought you peace. So many of them died of a heart attack. Because of anger. As they were so angry, right? Anyway. This is not the, the, the biggest news, actually, from this sake. 
The biggest news from the sake is this. I know you don't speak Indonesian, let me translate for you. Panji Gumilang says, Quran made by Prophet Muhammad, not word of Allah. Again, Quran is not word of Allah, but word of Muhammad. Yes. That's what he says. I don't know if you ever watched Christian Prince. I think I remember uh, a year or two years ago. He brought up a video of a sheikh from Iraq saying Quran is not word of Allah. Exactly the same thing, but this is sheikh from Indonesia. Now, of course, if you have read Quran, you know those two sheikh are correct. Only those who never read Quran or never read Quran get angry and think the sake are wrong. Let me take you to Quran then. The Surah at Takwil, verse 19. Verily, this is the word of a most honorable messenger. Now, many Muslim scholars and translators say this is word of Jibril. Well, they are wrong. The context of this verse is Muhammad, not Jibril. This is the word of Muhammad, not Jibril. Why? Let me show you from Surah al haqqa verse 40 to 41. Quran chapter 69, verse 40 to 41. That this is verily the word of our messenger. It is not the word of a poet. Little it is you believe. Now you have to remember the pagans say Muhammad is like a poet. Why? First of all, he stole some verses from a poet. Secondly, Quran does sound like a poet. A very, very angry and threatening poet. But a poet regardless. Right? At least some parts. So now, that's why, because it was Muhammad who was accused of being a poet by the pagans. So this under messenger here is Muhammad. So Allah is saying, Muhammad is not a poet. Muhammad is an honored messenger. So when we go back to Surah Takwir, also the same thing. Honored messenger here, there is Muhammad. So, Quran is word of Muhammad. So, the sake is not wrong. He is correct. And he is actually taught based on Quran. Any Muslims who say the opposite is against, against Quran. Any Muslims, any Muslim who says Quran is word of Allah is against Quran actually. I hope you understand that my my explanation here. Anyway, whether you believe that Quran is word of Allah or not, God bless you all. Have a nice life.